Hey everyone, welcome to the seventh lecture of our series and in this lecture, we will try to understand the differences between SCP and IM policies. This is another important topic for you to understand because we have covered SCP in this series, right? IM policies or the entire IM playlist is covered in a different video lectures. But I am trying to compare both because this is very important for us to understand why to use a combination of SCP, IM policies and guardrails to make your organization much more stronger from security perspective, right? Only applying SCP will not help you. Or you have to make a combination of SCP, guardrails and IM policies to make it much more stronger. So let's look at few of the difference pointers and what all possibilities we are getting with SCP and IM policies. On SCP side, we know it is attached to your OU or specific account as part of your control tower or landing zone or organization structure. On the other hand, IAM policies operate at the principal level. When I say principal level, it is more towards your identity, right? Your IAM users, then role, your groups or uh, the resource based policies as well, like in terms of your services. That's where your SCP will not help. SCP do not replace IM policies such as they do not provide the actual permissions to perform. To perform an action, you still need to grant IM policy permission. For example, rebooting of AWS EC2 instances or creating or modifying certain sort of configuration within your S3 bucket or let's say within your DynamoDB, you need a permission policy from IAM. We have two type of uh, policies within IAM, identity based, which is basically attached to your IAM user group or a role and resource based, which is more towards your S3 bucket or EC2 instances. One of an example to that is I want an access from EC2 instance to S3 bucket. So I will create a role with a permission, IAM permission that, hey, uh, give that permission to connect to S3 bucket and we will assign that role to our EC2 instance or within S3 bucket, you can create a policy, right? So those kind of uh, related policy comes under resource based policies. Even if principal is allowed to perform a certain action granted through IAM policies. And if you have attached SCP, like, no, you can't access that particular environment, right? So SCP will enforce the deny on top of that action of IAM. So SCP is taking a precedence over IAM policies. So that is important from interview perspective as well that SCP has a higher precedence on top of your IAM policies. IAM policies can grant or deny principal permission to perform certain action to the certain resources. This can be used together with SCP to ensure strict controls in an AWS organization. That's what I am trying to tell you right if you have to make your organization much more stronger from security perspective, then you have to use SCPs, guardrails and IAM policies as a combination. SCPs can be applied to the root of organization or individual accounts in an OU or at OU level as well. But IAM policies can only be applied to the user's group or role and it can never restrict the root identity of your AWS account. So uh, again, the same concept SCP is getting applied to your OU, to your account, but IAM is more towards your user groups or roles. When you apply SCP to an OU or individual AWS account, you choose either enable, which is whitelist or disable, which is blacklist of your specified AWS services. Now in my previous lecture with the example of SCP, I showed you how you can deny access, right? How you can even you can disable the access to that particular resources. One of an example was shield. I can't access shield. I have disabled that access. So access to any services that is not explicitly allowed by SCP associated with the account or a parent to you or a management account is denied by default. So if you, I'm not doing an explicit allow, then everything is denied by default in your organization, your net or AWS account. IAM policies cannot be attached to you. Which, which I mentioned as well. And if you're not aware of the IAM structure altogether, I'll be sharing the playlist again in the description section of this particular lecture. So please go through that. 
IAM permissions are the concept of an IAM is very important in the world of AWS or as, a, or as a matter of fact, the permission boundaries are very important in the world of cloud, right? Even on the data center side, we call it as IAM identity access management, but the same concept applies to your active directory, right? Where you define number of OUs and decide who can access what kind of servers and everything. So that's something I wanted to cover up the difference differences between the two set of policies, which is very much important for us to understand, right? So I hope this clears a lot in terms of the differences of SCPs and IAM policies, and you have to create a combination to make your organization much more stronger from security perspective. Please have a comment in comment section. If you're facing any issue in understanding the concept or the demo of control tower or organization, I'll be there to help you have a nice day. Bye-bye.